Welcome to Bulletproof Underwear Episode 98 Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm your co-host Yam Juice And I'm your co-host Flex And we're here with our guests Just that guy And that guy And there you go, there you go We, we gave you Mandy Button last week What more do you want? What more yeah. can you ask for? And you watched her, we know Because she got views She got views, yeah, she did good here I'll take off my sunglasses here. I'm going to keep on my hat for a little while here. This is uh, this is in uh, in honor of Dinjoga and his hat escapades. Yep. He's shopping for a new chapeau. Yep. <laughs> so for episode number 100, which is super fast approaching, we're like trying to get like a celebrity kind of a guest for you guys. So don't laugh. Don't laugh. But Flex had the idea, and I thought it was a good idea. Let's try and get Drifter, you know, the Drifter. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see you know, if I we got, can get him to come on the show. It'd be great. Well, you know, if he can't do it or he won't do it or whatever, it's like, hey, it's no problem. I've been following him for a really long time. I subscribe to him on YouTube and all that. But I won't think any less of him if he doesn't come on the show. Oh, I ain't going to stop following him. I mean, he's got good stuff. Yeah, he probably gets people asking him for shit all the time. Can I get a shout out, please? Could you check out my video? Could you like my video? Could you <laughs> could you come over and give me a hand job? Oh, I'm I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm he's sure. like got over six hundred thousand subscribers. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Well, I'm so, I'm pissed that he doesn't have over a million. Yeah, he well, it wasn't too long ago he was only at like. 250 300 was it i mean like about a year a little over a year ago maybe a year and a half ago he had like forty thousand. so he's he's grown really really fast so he's 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 up there man he's up there what i want to see is a new versus pro with ozymandias yeah that's been a while it has been a while what is taking those guys so long i don't know ozzy's been twitching a lot yeah, he has. Yeah, he has. But he always twitches during the day. Whenever he is like uh, puts out a tweet that he's twitching, it's always during the day, and I'm at work, and it's like, God damn you, Ozymandias. You twitch for your phone. Yeah, but I can't be watching Twitch on my phone while I'm working. That's true. Yeah. It's like Would you excuse me for a second while I adjust your glasses? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just give me a few more minutes. <laughs> well, I may have that problem here for another reason because you know, just finally, Ann wanted to like, she's like, how do I get Skype on my phone? She's like, oh, really? You want to, you want to have Skype on your phone? Okay, so you know, she had a username, but she couldn't remember what it was, so we had to track that down first. You know, a uh, username and password. We figured that out. And then I got her set up, so now I know what's going to happen. It's like I'll be working, and I'll hear that boom, boom, boom. You know that little tone <laughs> <laughs> that I'm, you're getting a Skype call. It's like, yep. don't Skype me at work, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It works pretty good, though. I just Skyped you just yesterday. We were having brunch. That was really good. That was some good quality. Yeah, it looked good. Uh, so that's one of my favorite restaurants. That's uh, ice cream slash diner. You know, uh, we didn't have ice cream, but we could have. We thought about it. Took a pass on it, though, huh? Yeah, you know what? We were going to pick up a, a quart of hand-packed on the way out, but uh, it was just like I was so full. After you ate that extra helping of bacon. That's right. After I ate all that all that extra bacon and those pancakes and all that shit. I was like so full. The idea of ice cream just like didn't even appeal, you know? It's like, yeah. That's why when you go grocery shopping, you should never go on an empty stomach. Oh, I never do. I always eat before I go. 
Otherwise, you'll last, pick up all kinds of stupid shit. Oh, fuck. Last time I went and yeah, and I hadn't eaten yet, I was like, the card ended up being like a $189 purchase, man. <laughs> you buy all <laughs> kinds of shit. Just like stuff that's like... You just start grabbing shit off the shelf you'd never buy. It's like going shopping if you had the munchies. Can, you know? Canned squid, sardines. <laughs> Speaking of the munchies, how's the uh, how's the uh, Minnesota situation here for uh, medical dope? It passed. It passed. You had a you had a pen. I, it, you showed me earlier. It passed with very restrictive. It passed with very restrictive requirements for the first year, and then it's going to lighten up quite a bit. Um, no smoking of it involved. So you can't smoke it, so you can take it in... In pill form, oil form, or vaporize it in a vape vape, vape pen. It's 420 somewhere, god damn it. (laughs) So it passed. So the important thing is is that... The most important thing is that they can get the oil for the kids that are having seizures. Right, right. Hey, get a little closer to the camera here. You're a little out of focus. A little fading out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your your autofocus, crazy. You know, I got this really, really old webcam that that I use for these shows. It's like uh, I was thinking about getting one of those really high end, you know, like the the top of the line Logitech webcam or something. But it's like so far, I don't have a big problem with f- autofocus. See, it's yeah, like, mine does. I, I got a creative. Uh, it's a 720p, and it the autofocus fucks up every so often. I don't know why. I know a lot of people's autofocus fucks up on their on their high end shit, but uh, this cheap old one that I've had for like six years works like a charm. Well, it never does an autofocus problem. It doesn't yeah. do that. It does other things, but it doesn't do autofocus. You know, it, actually, my Connect on Skype on my Xbox One's better camera than this one. Yeah, I think that that's a pretty good that's a pretty good Skype camera. We did the episode with Smiting Fatty. Yeah. He was using his Connect for that episode. So if you yeah. want to see how it looks, go back and check out yeah, the like, first, or not the first, but like the second Smiting Fatty video. Yeah. That was right after the Xbox One dropped. Yep, it's out there. Speaking of Xbox One and drop. <laughs> <laughs> Segway. <laughs> So th- we didn't, uh, we didn't, we filmed it, but too late to talk about it with uh, with Mandy Button. But uh, <clears throat> this is the first time we've addressed it on on our show. It's like, okay, everybody fucking knows by now, unless you've been living under two rocks. The Xbox One will be sold in June without the Connect and for three ninety nine. Yep, that's the the same price as the PS Four. And they no. announced it. No. Would you give up your Connect now if you could get decent money for it on a trade, or will you keep it? Well, money doesn't mean that much to me. Like I'm super, super tight for money. Like, uh, like the like a hundred bucks is going to make a difference in my lifestyle. Or ain't going ain't going to make or break you. Yeah. yeah, but if I was more po, you know. Hundred bucks would make a difference. It would. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm old and I you know, I've saved a lot of money. So I, I, li- <laughs> I like the connect. I I like using it, and uh, I think it adds to the function of the Xbox. The one thing that does concern me though is they're saying they're going to have that you're going to have more power at the Xbox, and if they take the connect out of the picture. Because apparently the Kinect draws off of the main CPU for some of its power. Well, yeah, I can imagine that. I mean, it's like it's a very powerful, you know, uh, audio-visual device, more powerful than the than the first Kinect. So, you know, I doubt that they have a lot of processing stuff inside the Kinect. It's just basically a camera and microphone array. Yeah. And it uh, is all, all the processing is done inside the Xbox. Yeah. So what does that mean? So they're, they're okay. They're selling an Xbox without Connect, but some people are still going to have the Connect, and they're still going to continue to sell Xboxes with the Connect, and some yeah. people are going to buy them without. Uh, if it means more power and processing for your Xbox without the Connect, 
Well, they can't really use it. even if it even if that's true, they can't really use it because it's like, oh wow, now we got all this extra power. We can run your games at 1080p, 60 frames a second, if you take the thing off. Oh, you guys who want to keep it on, you 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 get 720p. You know, <laughs> they could put that. They actually though, I think they can put that in as an option in a game. Because in Titanfall, can't you change the refresh rate to 30 hertz? That's right. So that's right. So maybe they do. Maybe they'll have a, a, a preferences thing. Well, you, you know, know want to use the connect or what like, I would do is I would just disconnect the connect for the game, and then when I was done playing the game, I'd reconnect it. Yeah, sacrifice the use of the connect to improve gameplay. And then you can switch it back on at any time. Well, be honest. How much? How much do you use the Connect in gameplay? Well, just like Xbox Snap Party. That's that's like it. Yeah. You know, you want to add people or, or whatever to to your party. That's the only time I ever use it while I'm playing. Well, they're changing up the you know they're changing up the UI for the you know up, upcoming Connectless Xbox. So the user interface is going to be a little different. Um, I'm getting the beta here next week, I think, so I can uh, do do some caps of it and we can look at it. Okay, good, good. Well, aren't you under a non-disclosure agreement or something if you're part of it? I don't know. I don't know. What are they going to do? Do you send a guy to your house and break your knees? <laughs> you got an Xbox guy. Well, this is Microsoft. <laughs> gonna, you never beat you. This is Microsoft. They just might. <laughs> no, but I, I can report on it. I just can't. I can't put I can't post photos or videos of it, but I can tell you what it's like. Yeah, yeah, because that that'll be interesting to find out. Try try unplugging your connect and see what happens. Well, I, I can try that, but I don't think any of the games now. I think the games are all designed for connect. So, right. Well, I mean, you know, there it's like I don't have a single game that I have that uses the camera. That uses the connect camera. I, I mean, I, I don't either. I mean, the voice. It's like okay, the 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 microphone that it has is handy for for navigating. You know, Xbox Go to whatever. Yeah, it's it's convenient as hell. It really is. Xbox on, and Xbox turn off. You know, uh, Xbox capture that, or whatever. Yeah. That's convenient. The camera. The camera, however, ah. Uh, I don't know, unless you're going to play Dance Central or something, which hasn't been released, you know, and there's a couple of Kinect games that have been released, but they're not giant hits. No. Because it comes down to, for some strange reason, imagine this, people want to control the game by a controller, they don't want to stand up, have to stand up for hours on end, acting like they're pointing a gun and shooting. Yeah. Well, now, I mean, can you, wouldn't you can feel you like a jerk standing in the middle of your living room? Standing there with hold like you're holding it, like like you're holding a gun shooting. I yeah, mean, that's pretty weird. Shit. What the fuck would your neighbors think if they looked in the window or the door, man, and seen you? They'd think you were fucking nuts. <laughs> well, or I in my case, that. or in my case, more nuts. Yeah, really. Flex is uh, flex is getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's really like get the medical marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, part of me is happy, part of me is sad about this whole announcement. Because, you know, it's like when it yeah. first was announced, the Kinect is going to be this... The Kinect is the Xbox One. It's like it's like integral. At first they were saying you can't even operate the, Kinect, the, the Xbox One without it. And then they, after all the brouhaha, yep, okay, yeah, nice. you can use it without it. And it's like we'll never sell an Xbox One without the Kinect. We want to make sure every every Xbox One has it. Well, now... And now, just like everything they do, they backtracked on it. They backtracked on it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> whatever my, my opinion is, it's good it's, because they were getting stomped. They're getting stomped. PS4s are outselling them like crazy, so this might be enough of an incentive for people to want to buy Xbox Ones. I don't know. Yeah, but they were getting just flat out the beat like a drum. Well, a lot of the people that didn't buy Xbox Ones bought s specifically re refused to buy them because of the Connect and the fact that you had to have it connected. Yeah, I don't want to buy this fucking thing, pay five hundred bucks for this piece of shit that I don't even want. Well, a lot of people might actually take to this offer. Yeah, will it be enough to compete? 
against PlayStation? Will it be enough to compete better? Who's got better games, though? Xbox One, PS4 well, is lagging in gaming. I, I think probably a lot of people probably feel that way, but if you ask an Xbox uh, PS fan person, they would probably say PS4 has better games. Well, of course, if you ask a fanboy, they're going to, you know, promote their own system. Mm. But statistically, and what they're showing for numbers out on the internet, you know, like on Twitter, Twitter things I've read, uh, you know, it's it. Microsoft selling the software, not the consoles, and Sony selling right. the consoles. Right? They're console, actually they're actually ahead. Software. Xbox is actually ahead in software sales. Xbox right. One. Which is interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. Uh, so. Well, everybody, anyway. everybody gets a boost coming up next week because we all know that next week Wolfenstein comes out. Wolfenstein comes out. This this episode will come out on Monday morning. By Monday at midnight, you can go to your GameStop and pick up Wolfenstein. Uh, mine's not doing a midnight. Is yours? Oh, I don't know. I I haven't pre-ordered it. You know what I'm going to do? You're going to wait. I'm going to digital download it. Are you? Yeah, because you know what? The discs are all fine and dandy, but you know what? It's kind of convenient just saying Xbox go to Wolfenstein yeah, you know, but without having to find the disc. Now, you know it, that it's it's got. The, you're going to have to download the actual program, and then there's a 7.5 gig day one update. Right, whether you bought the disc or not. Right. Yeah. So, I don't know if that matters or not. But so, so how much are you looking forward to Wolfenstein? A lot. I, I think it, it really looks cool. It does look cool. It's I got just a, hope it's long. It's got a mech. It's got a mech, uh, mech warrior kind of element to it, and it's like the whole total underdog versus the rest of the world type of game. And I love that kind of game. It's uh, it's single player. As far as I know, there's not even a co-op mode. No, I, I looked it up. You know, before we did the show, I was like, let's let's see if we can find out a little more information about. It. I went to Wolfenstein's official site. I looked at the Wikipedia thing. There's nothing about multiplayer. There's not even anything about co-op. So it's no, a single player. It's a single player game. But you know, that's not a bad thing. I mean, I like I like a single player game once in a while. Yeah, it's like you just play it at your own pace, and you you do what you want to do. If you, you know, if you want to play it on easy or hard or whatever, you just do. You know, you don't worry about it. You you have fun. Well, by the other part of it is, by not uh, having a multiplayer, they can use all of the resource for the the campaign, and maybe the campaign will be longer. Yeah, maybe exactly. It will be a good solid campaign. It sounds like no. I don't want to get us off subject here, but it sounds like advanced. Uh, what what's the new uh, Call advanced of Duty? Advanced Warfare. Advanced Warfare sounds like they've worked on the story now for two years, so it's going to have a really good campaign. Right, right. Well, we'll talk about that in in, in just in a, a little bit here. Yeah. Mm. But see, if Wolfenstein is is like a four or five hour, or even a nine or ten hour game, I'm going to be disappointed. I want a nice long. I want a game. Tw- I want a twenty hour game. Yeah. yeah Ser- serious, like- seriously, I want a twenty hour game. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a real nice long game, and I I hope they've got some kind of replay value. You know, I don't I don't know what. The, you know, I what I don't they know. Could do. I don't know if it has alternate endings or not. Well, maybe you could, you know, if you beat it on, you know, normal, you can try your hand at hard and you get some other stuff. Or I, I don't yeah, know. I, don't, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I get the feeling it's going to be a one-trick pony, unfortunately. Maybe. But, but, you know, it has a pedigree. I mean, Wolfenstein is... Got a long you know, history. That's the great, great, great granddaddy of first-person shooters. Yep. I mean, uh, you know, the very first viable first-person shooter that ever came out pretty much was Wolfenstein. Yeah, we're talking back on PC days now. PC days. And, of course, it was just a single-player kind of a deal. Yeah. Uh, If you ever look at footage of that, it looks incredibly crude, but it was (laughs) mind-blowing at the time. Yeah. Yeah, compared to what we have now, it's uh, stick figures. Yeah. But then, of course... Speaking of pedigree, if you now, 
if you buy the game or if you pre-order it, which is it that you get the access to the Doom? If you pre-order the game, you get access to the Doom beta. It yeah. com comes with the package, or if you order it online, it comes with uh, your download. Okay, so yeah, you'll get to play the Doom beta, which means there's going to be a Doom. Yes, there is a new Doom coming out. They I, For next gen! Yeah, very few details, but it's coming out. I can't wait. Talk about pedigree. Oh, yeah. my Yeah, now there God. you go. That's the original first-person shooter. Well, actually, Wolfenstein preceded it well, that's chronologically, but true. But it's, it, it wasn't your first, played nearly as much. Your first, your first, somewhat graphical first-person shooter. Yeah, Doom was much more influential, as far as like I don't know. It just, just it lent itself on to Duke Nukem's and <clears throat> you know those types of games. Right, I played Doom when it first came out. We got a, oh, a so shareware did disc. So did we. We we loved it. Yeah, it's like we brought oh the network. We brought the network to its knees, man. My boss was pissed <laughs> at, <laughs> at work. Man, he comes back. He goes, "What are you guys doing?" And we're like, "We're just playing Doom on lunch break." Uh, no, you're not. Turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So so I'll be looking forward to Doom, of course. Uh, <clears throat> So, yeah, yeah, I think I'm going to get Wolfenstein. I think I'm going to get it. Yeah, get it. Get, but pre-order it so you get access to Doom Beta. Yeah. All right, so after Wolfenstein, what's next on the gaming calendar? We have a much anticipated, after five and a half years in development, Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs, yes. And Watch Dogs is a game that you are a hacker in a world of people waiting to be hacked everything is accessible from your little iphone, <laughs> yep. little iPhone. or in my yeah. case android <laughs> looks very yeah, yeah, yeah looks very interesting a lot of a lot of different uh angles to the game uh chicago tribune itself uh reviewed the game and said that it is the most authentic replication of chicago they've ever seen yeah, so it takes place in Chicago. Yep. And uh, there's been, like, to say that there's been hype for this game would be a gigantic understatement. Yeah, that, everywhere you go on the internet, if you go to a gaming site, boom, pops up an ad for Watch Dogs. So, right. But they got a lot riding on this. They do. They got an incredible amount riding on it. And, you know, this last year at E3, you know, they announced... You know, they announced this game, and that's where the buzz began. And, of course, it was supposed to be a launch console. It was. It was supposed to PS4 be a launch game. For PS4 and the Xbox One, but they, they delayed it. They postponed it, which, you know, if anybody is is pissed about that, they're idiots. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just look at um, <coughs> Battlefield 4. <laughs> Yeah. Well, so it's like it's much better to 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 delay the the release of it if if in fact if in fact you know they they delayed it because they were trying to make it better and finish it and do it right. Now, did they delay it because they didn't want to compete against Call of Duty and Battlefield, or so they could have this time slot all to themselves, or did they delay it because they really needed to work on it? That's the question. I yeah. Wonder. Yeah, that's the real question. Yeah, because you know what, when uh, you know when November comes around, you know, and and like the those two big first-person shooters come out, it sort of sucks all the oxygen out of the room. You know, it's like yeah. any other game that tr dares to to come out at that time is really going to face a lot of competition. Yeah. But if you don't come out at that time, you're missing the Christmas. That's the whole thing, you know, is you're missing that Christmas hype and that Christmas rush. Yeah, yeah. So many of these copies get sold at the Christmas rush period that, <clears throat> you know, it's like people say, well, why doesn't a game coming, you know, why doesn't a, a new game come out in the doldrums? Like we're like right now, like this is the doldrums, like May and June and July. Yeah. Well, this year we got Watch Dogs, but, but like in J June, July and August, what, what, you know, what do you got? Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Sniper Elite Sniper Elite V3, you know, in July. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, if you come out at that time, your game, by Christmas, your game is old hat. It's old news. Nobody yeah. cares. 
Uh, so you won't really do that much for the for the next Christmas season. And if you come out during the doldrums, people are out playing and fun in the sun, and like yeah. they got their real lives. <laughs> See, I've never I've never held back on like waiting for a game for Christmas. I always get the damn thing right now. Right. If I want it, I get it. Well, I was a Christmas noob. My first Call of Duty, I was a Christmas noob on Black Ops 1. I got it for Christmas. Oh, did you? I got myself and my brother a copy of it, and I didn't open it until Christmas. Did you get owned? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my true, God. true definition of a Christmas noob, huh? Oh, God. Yeah, it was <laughs> it was brutal. It was just unbelievable. But it but it hooked me, even though I was getting my lunch money taken and, like, getting wedges oh, yeah. everywhere. By the time I started playing with you, you, you were pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's a, you know, there's a, a slope, you know. The Christmas noobs, that's why it's always fun. You know, to to get online and play, and and it's like, give me them Christmas noobs. S snack, snack up on them Christmas noobs. Crunch, crunch, crunch. <laughs> it was a little bit like that on Titanfall. You and me both got it on the Xbox yeah. One, right? <clears throat> yeah. So, you know, a couple of weeks later, it comes out on the X Xbox 360. Mm -hmm. So we've already been playing it. And we get the 360, and it's like, <laughs> we were, yeah, we were ca we cashed in, man. I mean, I leveled up fast. Yeah, but you know, you you only you only got a, a, a limited time for the noobs because, like, what happens is the noobs, some of them catch on and get better. Oh yeah, some, some of them get good. Especially the kids, they they pick up on it quick. So it doesn't take them too long to to get up to speed, and then other ones that are really really bad, they just stop playing it because it's like, oh man, I get I get beat the shit out of. I'm not gonna play this game anymore. So yeah, the real easy pickings kind of disappear relatively quick so if you're going to do the christmas noob thing you got to make hay while the sun shines yep <laughs> hey did you get your season pass for uh titanfall on the xbox one yet i haven't done it yet i haven't done it yet i'm is trying that, to decide that, do i want it on 360 or xbox one or both or i got it what? on both you did okay yep i did what's well, it's cheap it's like 25 bucks right yeah yeah it ain't no 50 bucks yeah, for a season pass, that's very reasonable. I mean, these other that's games. That's the way I were, figured it. Yeah, these other games like fifty bucks. That's. And then you I know. And then I figured, well, I would normally spend fifty bucks on the DLC, so why not just get it and spread it between the two systems? Yeah, at that price, you can afford to get it on both. <clears throat> I'll, I'll I'll play a game or two later, cap it, and put it up for you, and you can check it out and see what you think. Yeah, yeah. Let's see some of that shit. You got how many maps? You get two, three, four. Three. Three three new maps and a new game type. I think they said. Okay, cool. Are there any new weapons? Uh, don't you know? I don't know. I didn't look close enough. I I in my. You I know, think my, I think there is. Okay, that's cool. That's cool because it's not exactly brimming over with weapon choices. I think Mango put something but on sub one, but I only got halfway through it, and then I got got uh, detoured doing something else. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare since we're we're kind of <laughs> caught guys. <laughs> so, uh so this game this game looks good. For the single player, this game looks good. I mean, I'm a I'm a big Kevin Spacey fan. I I like Kevin Spacey. And, I do uh, I do too. But I'm also not generally a campaign fan for these Call of Duty kind of games. I haven't really I I've dicked around with it just a little bit but i've never really played through them i think you'll like this one because I, I like i said they've been working on the story for two years so if they've been working on the story for two years it's, it should be one hell of a campaign yeah i just hope there's some point where you get in a in a closed room with, with kevin, kevin spacey. spacey and you get to you get to shoot him <laughs> <laughs> Pro probably not probably not in the first Advanced Warfighter, probably in the next one. Yeah, probably what happens, if you beat the game, he gets away. He he makes an escape or something. Yeah, probably. <laughs> like, he, he, he takes off in a helicopter. And uh, like, disclaimer, Damn! disclaimer, pure speculation. This is speculation. Now, what happens if it turns out it's right? We're going to look like incredible geniuses. We are incredible geniuses. Who are you so let's re We'll see, we'll, we'll put this, we'll grab this... You know, and we'll we'll repost it later if we turn out to be right. If we're wrong, 
it's never happened. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> now there's some uh, there's some movie that, that I saw ads for that's coming out in a in a couple of weeks that has exo like a, like the exoskeleton suit and it has Tom Cruise in it. Yeah, I saw that too. It's called uh, what's that Tom Cruise flick called? She don't remember. I don't either. I just saw it last night. <clears throat> And you know it has like that, like the suit that allows you to run fast and be yep. strong and stuff. Yeah, he has to die when he has to die once a day or something like that. Yeah, so he, yeah, that's the movie. He comes back to life, and every time he comes back to life, he's more of a soldier. Yeah, so that's that's like uh, you know it looks like the main thing that's going to be in in advanced warfare is this exoskeleton suit. Yeah, it kind of looks like exo. Oh, you know what it reminded remind me of, and I mentioned it. Uh, when it when we first talked about it on the forum was, it reminds me of Mech Warrior. Yeah, yeah. The guy, the guys actually have suits on already. They have an exoskeleton, but they can get into a Mech Warrior, kind of like Titanfall. Very Titanfall esque. Yeah. No, I'm not saying for a second that they've ripped off Titanfall. They've been this has been in development for two two and a half years. So right, right. They had no way of knowing they, Titanfall. Titanfall didn't even get announced until E3 of last year or whatever, so... So, yeah, I mean, if it seems like a, a rip-off of Titanfall, well, I mean, it's just, that's kind of a coincidence. Yeah. It's a quinky dink Yeah. Now, of course, uh, I saw the, the movie Elysium. Did you see that? Where they had the exoskeleton suits? I haven't seen that yet. I, I only saw the commercials for it where Matt Damon's talking to the robot and he's getting pissed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they they have to attach the suit to you. You know, it's kind of put a, it's like almost put a, a surgical. They put a spike back in the back of their head, right? And then they put the suit yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's very similar to what what they're showing for Advanced Warfare, which you know, if it allows new game mechanics like you know, uh, like super jumps and stuff like that, I'm for it. Hey, that's cool. And you know, it, uh, it's been the same old thing for how many years? It's like it's time for something new and different. And I like to and to to wander off on some more Call of Duty news. Uh, Sledgehammer wants to do a Vietnam era one. Cool. I don't. Cool. I, and I'll correct me if I'm wrong. COD has never done a Vietnam era. Wait a minute, Black Ops. Was the original was, Black Ops was Black so, Ops that was considered Vietnam or was that considered Cold War? Well, Cold War and Vietnam overlapped in time periods. Okay. It's like the, the 60s were, the, the Cold War was like never any hotter than it was back in, during the Cold War. I mean, that's okay. like, that's why we were fighting Vietnam because the spread, stem the spread of communism, the domino theory and all that. Yeah. And, and a couple of the maps actually took place, I think, one or two of them in Vietnam. But I think Sledgehammer wants to do a full out, full blown all out. Yeah. And I, I heard it was some kind of a top down or a three third person or yeah they were working on it before a third it's a third person yeah which i so that's a, would be a really really interesting uh change now a lot of people are going to hate it and not like it right away they're going to be a hater because it's third person but no like i like gears of war and that's the third person yeah, that's third person. And, you know, so... I loved Red Dead Redemption. That was third person. Yep, yep, Red Dead was great. So, we'll just have to see what happens. Yeah. Oh, E3 is like uh, Rockstar is expected to make a big announcement for a new game. This year. That's going to come out this year. Yeah. Yeah. Now, of course, they're going to come out with Grand Theft Auto V for the new consoles. You know, everybody knows that. Yeah, that's a given. But that's not what they're. That's probably not what they're going to announce. That's, at E3. that's I've heard. That's not what you're going to hear at E3. You're going to hear. Well, I mean, you might hear that, but <clears throat> I hope it's Red Dead Redemption too. I hope it's Red Dead Redemption as well. Yeah. I mean, it could be Bully. It could be what's that? L.A. Noir. L.A. Noir. Yeah. Yeah, it could be something like that. But please let it be Red Dead. Yes. <laughs> oh man, on new, next gen that'd be awesome. When that came out, that was the best looking video game I had ever seen. Yeah. Oh, I loved it. Oh, hey. And it, before I forget, I got Watch Dogs on the PS4. Okay, so you got Watch Dogs on the PS4. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, I did because I heard the graphics are better. 
And a lot of yeah. the other and a lot of the other guys are getting it on the PS4 too. Okay. Well, I'm still not sure if I'm going to get it. It's like Okay. I'm not sure it's my kind of game, you know. Well, let me, like, I'll tell you what, let me play it when it comes out, I'll play some of it, cap it, you can look at it and see what you think. Yeah. I, I want to maybe before I get that game cuz I I hate getting games that I don't play. Yeah. I've done that so many times. Well, it's an open worlder, so you know, it's like Red Dead. It's an open worlder. Yeah, I mean, hopefully, I'll still be playing. Uh, I'll still be playing Wolfenstein by the time it comes out. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, you know, I mean, I, I'm I, like as we said before. I'm hoping Wolfenstein's campaign is lengthy. Mm-hmm. I mean, I want to. Well, I don't really get I that wanna, much. I want to burn some midnight oil, man. Yeah, I don't get that much time to game because, you know, working. Uh, I, you know, it's like I don't want to over. If I get too many games and not enough time to play them, then they end up just sitting on the shelf, and it pisses me off. Or you start playing one, and then you're like, okay, and then you start playing another, and then you go back to that one, and you can't remember where you left off. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? I hate that. I hate that. Because I'm, I'm having that problem right now. I'm playing Tomb Raider and uh, Infamous Son, and uh, I'm having a hard time because I'm going back and forth between the two, and... Yeah, if you don't have just ass loads of time to just like sit down and beat the hell out of a game like straight through, it's annoying. It really is. Well, it's cool for me because I I'm up in the middle of the night, so I got plenty of time. Well, that's because we all know that Flex doesn't sleep. That's right. <laughs> sleep with my eyes open for four seconds a day. Rockstar, are you are you are you on the amp? Oh no, no more amp. Amp's got all that other crap in it, man. This has just got caffeine and juice. Caffeine and juice. As a matter of fact, this has less caffeine than a bottle of Mountain Dew. Wow. So. Okay. And it's only 80 calories because it's flavored, sweetened with juice. Sweetened with juice. Yep. Is it yam juice? I don't think so. It's cherry juice. No, pear juice. You know what? I Speaking of that, it's like I was over at Bejewel's. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a long time ago. It's a couple of months ago now, <clears throat> and she's on this diet kick. You know, she's oh, got this juicer, juicing machine, juicer diet. Yeah, she's got this juicing machine, and it doesn't just juice like simple things. It'll juice fucking anything. I mean, you could put a fucking boot in there and it would juice it. But throw a hockey puck in there, should juice yeah. it out. Yeah, juice a hockey puck. It's like grinds the shit out of everything and makes juice. So she actually bought some yams. For 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 this purpose, I said, "Oh yeah, what fuck? Why not? Let's film it. Let's film it making yam juice." And and I did. We filmed it. Uh, it's like I I caught it on my phone. <laughs> I watched it. <laughs> no, no, I haven't put it up. I haven't ever put it up. I thought you put it up. No, I haven't put it up. Oh, you told me about it. I told you about it. So I've got to I've got to make a video. It's like my own personal channel. I haven't done shit with in ages. Oh yeah, make a video. Yeah, yeah. So- so don't say nothing about it, cause you know, let everybody be surprised when they see the video. It's like making yam juice. <laughs> I got a whole can. I got a can of yams up in my cupboard. One of those big ones. Uh, what kind of that? Bruce's yams. Bruce's yams. Bruce's yams. Yeah, I was thinking about uh, eating them on camera and posting it up on the forum. <laughs> Well, that would be certainly fun. That would be yamital, but that would be yamitalism. <laughs> Don't eat them yams. Don't eat them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, oh, what Jesus. else has been going on this week? Let's see. They they they're working on a an update for the Xbox One for June that gives you external hard drive support and. Sorry. Oops. What, did you cut the, cut the cheese or something? No, she's playing, and I said Shut the up. word. <laughs> I said the word. I'm not going to say it. Okay, okay. You know, yeah, you, you know the word I said. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> and then the thing went off into La La Land. <laughs> <laughs> Xbox, turn off. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 don't say that. <laughs> Xbox, sign out. Yeah. 
Actually, I think I've got mine set now so that it's custom. You have to power it off by the controller. Yeah, you got that option. Yes. So, okay, so what's happening in the PS4 world? You know, not much. I was trying to dig something up, and I really couldn't find anything earth-shattering to dig up in the PS4 world. Um, I troll the forum. I, tro I troll tr Twitter and Facebook every day, and I troll Reddit and looking for stuff. Looking for stuff for PS4 and PS3 for the guys on you know the Facebook page. Right. And I just can't come up with anything. There's tons of shit about Microsoft, of course, and right. Right. You know. So I've noticed that too, right? Currently, the news cycle is like uh, Xbox One keeps popping up in the news cycle, whereas PS4 is not so much. But E3 is really coming right around the corner. What's the date on that? What the, what, uh, June. Year? Fuck. I didn't do my homework. I, I, is, I don't have the date for you. Is it the th it's not the third. I, just, uh, I don't know. I have no idea myself. Let's see. We'll find out all about what ps4 is going to be up to but see my problem with e3 is they talk about stuff that's not going to be happening for fucking ever yeah i know like they showed they showed halo 5 at last year's e3 and it's not going to come out till fall of 20 fucking 15 50. yeah it's like jesus christ it's like don't don't bother. Show us something that's going to come out within a reasonable amount of time so we can like be excited to play it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're going to show all kinds of really cool stuff, you know, that's not going to happen. And they're not going to be a date. You know, it's not going to be a release date, so you don't even know. So, no. Did I hear wrong, or is Nintendo not participating this year? They're not going to have... A present, a normal presentation. They're gonna. They're gonna participate, but they're not gonna have a presentation. Well, they're gonna do like they did last year, I think. Whatever, whatever the hell passed for Nintendo's E3 thing. Now, I heard that they're working on a console right now. Can you hear that? No, not really. What is that? It's GameStop calling me to remind me that Wolfenstein's going to be available for pickup at Tuesday morning. Ah, there you go. Well, there you go. Yeah, I, that was Ivy at GameStop. All right. So everybody knows that the Wii U is is pretty much been a failure. You know, it's like let's let's put a let's put a fucking tablet in the middle of the controller. That was know. that was dumb. They should have done something like Sony did with the Vita. Yeah, well, the Vita is not exactly, you know, a, a rip-roaring success either. Well, but they just released the new one, and it's thinner, it's lighter, the battery time is longer, and uh, GameStop, GameStop bundled it with Borderlands 2 Special Edition and a memory chip and everything for uh, $199. So they sold a buttload of them. Mine sold out. Yeah. Well, I don't think the Vita has... Has has hit levels of sales here that would qualify it as a success. Like you said, you know, it's like for the five minutes that you're going to be on the shitter playing it while you're away from your console, it ain't really worth it. But like, yeah. uh, like I think Mars got one and he uses his for all kinds of stuff. Right, right. Well, I mean, it's not. I'm not saying there's anything bad about it. I don't have one, but it's like a, you know, I'm not saying there's anything bad about it, but it just hasn't been a giant success i'd take now, one what would, has I been one. what has been a giant success is the 2ds yeah yeah that you know the 3ds the nintendo handhelds they are yeah they are an unqualified success Paige has one of those yeah yeah she got the 3ds xl yeah and uh it's like they're advertising on tv right now it's like I, I just saw a commercial last night for the nintendo 2ds and they're basically showing kids games well you know kids what, playing them you know what killed nintendo u was i'll tell you what killed nintendo u no mario kart at launch no mario smash brothers at launch no mario game of real any real relevance at launch but that's what killed them if they would have launched mario kart with wii u they would have sold a buttload of them. Yep. Because they said Mario Kart 8 is awesome. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it's fantastic. Well, but, that's the only way they can sell Wii's 
is for first person first party games. I mean, or that's the only way they can sell Nintendos. I mean, because nobody supports them third party wise. It's like, you know, Activision, EA, Ubisoft have pretty much given them the cold shoulder. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> they ain't got any. They ain't got any developers in their stable anymore. Yeah. Well, I hope that they. It's kind of sad. I hope that they really. do come out with a new console, and I hope that it does well. Yeah, because it's kind of sad, really. I mean, they kind of started it all, and. Yeah. I mean, it was the Nintendo that came along and was the big. You know, all of a sudden, video game sales just exploded. But then back then we had cartridges instead of these fucking discs that scratch up all the time. Well, you don't have to worry about discs anymore. Now you can just buy your games on the cloud, and it's like it's inside your console. And oh like, yeah, there you go. on my half gig dr- or my half terabyte drive that they put in, and then they won't give me external hard drive support, no file man, <laughs> and no file manager. The, yeah, the weasels. But no, I mean the weasels. You know, PS and Microsoft are both like you know they're very very happy for you to buy digital games i mean they would they would love it if you get all your games like that i'd buy games i'd buy some of them digitally if uh they get me external hard drive support so i can hook up a drive yeah you know and i don't mean i don't want hard drive support for a one terabyte drive i want support for a five to six terabyte drive so if i want to put a big fucker on there i can yeah well you know one and two terabyte drives are cheap as fuck now when I bought my two terabyte drive, it was over a year ago. It was, it was kind of, it was kind of pricey. It's kind of spendy. It was like one fifty nine or something like that. Yeah. And that was like now the, you, now the you best deal I could find. I can get it for eighty bucks. Yeah, yeah. I got one right over there. I'm not gonna go get it, but it's. A, I showed it before on the show. It's the size of a cigarette pack, and it's a gig. I mean, yeah. I mean a terabyte. That's pretty amazing. Well, yeah. I'll tell you what, these bulletproof episodes definitely chew it up. Yeah, I mean, you know, we record for an hour, two hours, you know, video. That definitely eats up. <laughs> yeah, you got to have hard drive space if you're going to do this. Yeah. So shoot, what else we got? Man, I don't know. I think that's about it. That's probably about it. So we're going to work on getting a good guest for episode 99, and we're going to try and get Drifter or or maybe some other you know kind of uh, special guest. <clears throat> if we can't get Drifter, we'll, we'll, we're going to work real hard. To, to try and get something lined up. And we got I mean, a Smarty Pants coming down the pipe here pretty soon. Got a Smarty Pants coming down the pipe. I'm, I'm but get, not going to be episode number 100, I don't think. No, 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 no. Smarty Pants will be after that. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, anyway. So if you're still watching episode Bulletproof Underwear, episode number 98, we love you. We mm-hmm. love you. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Man, what was that Miley Cyrus action? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm twerking. Yeah, she's put always that thing back. She's always sticking her tongue out. It's like we don't know that, where that thing's been. Yeah, we don't know where that thing's been except on the nasty, except on the on the end of a blunt. <laughs> Poor Wiz, Miley. Wiz, Wiz Khalifa, who is a, a well-known rapper or hip-hop guy and a heavy weed smoker said he did a video with her and he said that she smoked so much weed that he couldn't even keep up with her <laughs> so there you have it there's our <laughs> there's our national inquirer story of the week that's it that's it i want to know so i am your co-host andrews and i am your co-host flex and, and that, that means there's only one thing left to do ah two things <laughs> ah <laughs> Those eyes, those eyes. We gotta get that baby blues, man. <laughs> yep. Now there's only now there's now, only, now now there's only one thing left to do. That's right. Sayonara, everybody.